Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences. I am your instructor Sajjad Mustafa and today we are going to apply filters on images. I mean filters are very famous nowadays. You use filters in your Instagram and uh, I don't know on Facebook or a lot of social media apps. So we are going to apply filters by using Python. So initially we'll be reading the image first and then we'll apply sketch I mean how to make a sketch of an image right how to apply blur filters on it on an image and how to apply a gray filter or you, how can you make um, a grayscale image out of uh, a color image right um, so this is something that we are going to do and finally we are, will also be writing the images right so reading and writing writing images means we are going to uh, read image from a folder right we are going to get image from a folder and then we are going to uh, save image inside a folder and we'll be doing it by using Python but before that let's have a look so this is the original image right this is the grayscale image this is the sketch of the original image right and this left bottom image is inverted sketch of the image I mean quite horrible but that's how you uh, you can apply the inverted filter and that's what we are going to do today <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the Python and let's first, I mean, there are a lot of ways um, you can achieve this goal, but the, the way I am going to use here is quite flexible. I mean, you can make uh, changes in intensities as well by using this method. So first of all, we'll import CV2. I have already installed it in my machine. If you haven't installed it, you can just write pip install CV2 and the magic will happen. Okay, the next thing is I'll say image, right? So image equals to cv2 dot. So first of all, I want to read the image. So I'll say I am read, right? This is the function to read the image, right? And then we are going to paste the, the address of the image over here so that it can read image from the folder. So let's go to the folder. Here is the image. Uh, I've named it as test image, right? So I'll say test image. Um, I mean, that's how I can get the path. I'll just copy the path and paste it over here so now here I'll, I'll be uh, reading the the test image right which is in my case let, let's open it up which is the Ronaldo image right okay so the next thing is first of all let's convert it into the gray image right so let's say gray image equals to cv2 dot cv t color right okay so here we are going to convert its color so here first of all I'll, I'll pass the image that I've just read and then I'll say cv2 dot mm, the color that I want so I want to convert it into BGR to gray right so here is BGR where is BGR oh rather than finding out let's write it down so C O L O R color color BGR to G yeah this is something that we need okay so uh, now you might be confused that what is this BGR actually uh, uh, this CV2 library reads the image in in, in BGR format rather than uh, RGB format it reads it in blue green red format rather than red green blue format right I mean that's just a format okay the next thing is here we are going to write this grayscale image right so I'll say cv2 dot I am right or image right and here we are going to give it a path at which we are going to write that image right so let's say path would be the same we'll just change the name of image right so here we'll say test image underscore gray okay so its name would be test image underscore gray and it will be saved at exactly same directory so um, I mean we are done with with the grayscale image right the next thing is let's work on inverted image so let's say inverted image equals to so how can you invert the image you just have to subtract um, the grayscale image from 255 255 is is the maximum value of any uh, any any pixel right so it will invert your image and then all we have to do is we have to copy this we have to paste it over here because our inverted image oh one thing that I've missed over over here is 
I've given the path, but I didn't tell that which image you have to write. So here I'll say gray image, right? And here at this path, uh, my image name would be inverted, okay? And I'll save it. Uh, which image would I save? I'll save inverted image, right? So we are done with grayscale image. We are done with inverted image. Uh, now let's uh, work on blurring the image a little bit. So let's say blurred image, right? And here we'll say CV2. Uh, there are, I mean, a lot of methods that can help you in blurring the image. So I'm, go I'm going to use the Gaussian blur. Uh, blur method and in this method I'm going to pass the inverted image and then I'm going to tell it um, for for how how much intensity do I want to blur it and then I want to pass zero into it and again I'm, I'm going to what I'm going to do I'm going to write this blurred image as well so here I'll say blurred Right. Uh, I mean, we are we are converting the images by by using just one line of code, and the other line of code is just to to write the image, right? So blurred image, yeah. So we are done with three type type of filters: uh, grayscale filter, inverted image filter, and blurred image filter. Now the final one is we want to make a make a pencil sketch. For that, we we want to um, convert our image back. Um, so what do we want to do? We will say inverted blurred. So we want to invert our blurred image. So here we'll say 255 minus exactly the same thing that we have done before blurred image, yeah. So we have inverted the blurred image and then here we'll say pencil sketch. So this sketch will be much like a pencil sketch. It's K -E, I think TCH, right? These are the spelling so here I'll say CV2 dot so I am going to use the divide method right so this will help me in writing um, in making a pencil sketch so I'm going to divide my grayscale image with inverted blurred image and the scale that I'm going to use is I mean you can play around with the scale uh, but the scale that I am use I'm going to use over here is let's say 256 right um, point zero just to make sure it is a floating point value and then the thing that we are going to use and we are going to do is we are just going to write it again and now Im uh, the name of this uh, this filter is pencil sketch so let's call it VT sketch right and which image we are going to write it's a pencil sketch awesome let's run it and yeah it says true which means almost everything is done let's go to the folder so here you, here you can see that this was the original image the test image and then um, this is the blurred image right the inverted blurred image and this is the grayscale image right and this is simple inverted image and this is the pencil sketch image right um, and you, you you guys can change the intensity of the work by uh, by playing around with these values by playing around with these values by playing around with the scale as well right but I mean how much you want to blur the image you can play around with play around with these values I mean these things can be done by using just one line of code and we have done it so effectively how many lines of code we have written one two three four five six and seven only seven lines of code and we are done the rest of lines are just you know writing the images again and again and that that was our goal for today's work so again we are ai sciences check out our channel if you like this video we release videos every monday and wednesday for you guys so that those who are beginners in artificial intelligence domain or computer vision domain uh, can get a lot of new knowledge as well thank you